Welcome to RE Uncut. Our daily shows are powered by Core Logic and supported by Printforce, Rockend, and Realty.com.au. And to round our series out with Aaron China this week, we're going to be talking about tomorrow's sellers. If ever there was a way for you to make sure your business is going to be sound in the future, it's to find the future sellers. How do you find them? Where are they? Aaron, back with me in just a moment. In today's market, great ideas alone simply aren't enough, but innovative execution can hand you a real competitive advantage. Nightlight is a cutting-edge illuminated signboard by Printforce that offers round-the-clock visibility and features that maximise advertising space, improving your exposure. Buyers can now see the full picture, day or night, with Nightlight's edge-to-edge -edge illuminated surface, which utilises environmentally friendly, scratch-resistant technology. Nightlight is as versatile as you need to be in today's market. Morning once again to Aaron China. G'day, mate. How are you doing? Hey, Kevin. How are you? Here it is Friday. The, re the week just rolls around so quickly. And we're all getting older. Uh, you look so much younger, but um, me, well, I think I get older every day, mate. But hey, let's talk about tomorrow's sellers. How do we find them? Where are they? Yeah, okay. So I want to go back a step before I just answer the question. Right now, there's three types of people. Um, there's the Batten down the door, you know, shut the roller door, batten down the hatches, leave me alone, I'm going to do nothing, say nothing, speak to nobody until this whole thing um, is behind us. Then there's type of person number two, who is, uh, hey, I will sell if I need to sell um, and I'll buy if I need to buy. I'm weighing up my options. And then there's um, types of people number three, which is business as usual, you know, going about buying, going about selling um, in their usual way that they would have. So knowing that is going to, to help us, right? Because I believe if you just go out and door knock in a farm area and just offer free appraisals, you're going to come across a lot of the leave me alone, batten down the hatches people and actually could cause more friction um, in, in doing so than, than positive results. But I, I still believe you need a prospect. So let me simplify it. There's two types of people right now. There's people in property mode buying and selling, and there's people not in property mode. How do you go and find those people in property mode really quickly, really effectively? Well, let's just look at tomorrow's, you know, to, you know, today's buyer is tomorrow's seller. So what I mean by that is how do you find today's buyer who is tomorrow's seller but find them today? And the answer is really simple. Survey all your buyers. This would be the homework, the assessment, the assignment, whatever the wording is, this is what I'd recommend everybody do on this call. Go and create a one-question survey to all your buyers. See, they're already in property mode, right? They're already indicating that they're out there looking for property. Go and survey them and ask them one very simple uh, one simple question on the survey. Hey, just wanted to reconnect with you. Are you still looking to buy? And you're going to have a, a few responses. It's going to say this. Yes, I am looking to buy an investment property. Yes, I'm looking at upsizing. Yes, I'm looking at downsizing. Um, no, I have found the property already. No, I've put it on hold. So they're the responses. And here's the great thing. When they take part in this survey by saying, yes, I'm buying an investment, well, you know that it's an investor. Or yes, I'm upsizing. Well, you know that they're, they're coming from a, a smaller property, getting a bigger one. Or yes, I'm downsizing. So just by them answering that one question, with a little bit of wording on it, also identifies, do they have a property to sell? Um, and here's what I know. Most of my clients that have already been doing this on the averages of a thousand surveys, are getting anywhere between 50 to 100 completed surveys. You know, 100 on the high side, 50 is about the average. And you go, well, what does that mean? Well, that means you have found the 50 people who are more interested in either A, buying, and also B, potentially have a house to sell. So if you want to quickly and easily, you know, find potential sellers in the, in the list you already have, just survey them and ask that question. You know, one of the things I always say to myself, Kevin, in this business, we've got to move a lot of the, to find the diamonds. This process allows the diamonds to come to you. Survey your clients and then take action on the results you get. Mm, wow, what a beautiful piece of advice to end the week. Uh, Aaron Shine has been my guest and make sure you get to Aaron's website. There's a link on every one of our pages this week to take you 
to his e-course for 2020, uh, great ways that you can um, really uh, move your business forward. Aaron, thank you for being with us today. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you, mate, and all the best. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. The Daily RE Uncut Show is powered by CoreLogic and supported by Printforce, Rockend, and Realty.com.au. Realty.com.au is where you will see all our shows, Real Estate Talk, The Property Show, Auction Update, and of course, RE Uncut. We are the home of property.